MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. So stepping in, Jose Ramirez. He will lead this one off today. The 3 1. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. That the second base hit. To the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. High in the air into shallow left center. Polanco ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Into the box, Francisco Lindor. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Loves hitting left-handed off for right-handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right-handed pitching. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Into the box now, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. High in the air out towards shallow right. Reyes is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. Set to get his day started and Jorge Polanco. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Counts even two and two for Polanco. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. Count still full three and two. Another full count pitch home. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Striding in. Nelson Cruz. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. That's too high that time, and it's three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And that misses. Ball four, and he's going to need to settle that down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. Polanco, the runner at third. Cruz on second. Sano at first, one gone. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Fouled away.
And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fran Moraes. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. That is fifth. The center fielder, Tyler. At the plate, Tyler Naquin. He's running. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the first out. So now Carlos Santana. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Santana. The 1-1 home is in there for the second strike. No score here as we play inning number two. To two balls and two strikes now. Heading out towards shallow right. Cruz will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. So striding forward now, Domingo Santana. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. In now, Eddie Rosario. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. And it's fouled away. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Byron Buxton now, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. A one one. On its tailor made to short, six, four, three, but it's not in time, and the inning will continue. At the plate, Luis Arias. It was a flyout for him to start the home first. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Three and one now. Jorge Polanco would be next. Here's a look over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Bottom of the second here with no score. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Ramirez is there, and the side is retired. Stepping up now, Oscar Mercado, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. And he fouls this one off. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. 
Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Throw into second. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Stepping in now, Roberto Perez. Lined hard toward right center. And this is run down out there in right center as the runner tags from second. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. He singled his last time up. Jose Ramirez. 1-1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Count still at one and two. From the stretch. Swing and he pops him up. Arrives. Ranges back and he has it for out number two. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. Third inning, no score to this point. Slap hard the opposite way. And there's a base hit, and the tribe are going to strike first in this one. It's one to nothing. Now Into the box, Francisco Lindor. And there's ball two now. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And the runner back safely. Another try at 2 2. Runner goes for second, fouled away. Throw over to the bag. A runner on first with two away. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Cruz is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Standing in, Jorge Polanco reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. The 1 2. Two balls, two strikes. Popped up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. At the plate, Nelson Cruz he drew a base on balls his first time up. Fouled off. Ready with another 2 2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Here's Miguel Sano. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So striding in, Fran Moraes. He'll lead it off here against Jose Barrios. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Tyler 
On the ground to third. Donaldson's there. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. One run, four hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. The second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Digging in to try it again. Josh Donaldson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty. But in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Josh Donaldson is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And that misses two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Ramirez in foul ground. Two gone. Stepping into the box, Eddie Rosario. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Bases are empty here with two men out. Misses, ball two. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Didn't threaten the zone there. Looked like it might have actually popped out of his hand a little early. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Domingo Santana. The one-two. is swung on and missed strike three. Striding in for the Indians, Oscar Mercado. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually, when there's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. At the plate now, Roberto Perez. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready once again, Jose Ramirez. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup. And Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Hernandez. He's one for two in the ball game. The 3 1 turned on down the line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And another foul ball. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the shortstop's got him play perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Riding in once again, Max Kepler. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Full count to Max Kepler. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that field. time. Number Max 25. Kepler is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the okay. inning. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Hit back up the middle. And that's the first hit in this one for Minnesota. Now batter, the second baseman, Luis Arias. In now, Luis Arias. Strike taken. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. A bouncer up the middle. And that's the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Jorge Polanco. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. And he fouls this one off. The payoff pitch one more time. Skied in the air to straightaway left. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. So here's Francisco Lindor now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop. Defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. The 2-2. Hit hard to the right. Foul. The 2-2. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Bounce towards the second baseman. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Two and one to count. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Tyler Naquin will be next. He loses him on ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And in the bat next, it'll be Tyler Naquin. Now the one and one pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Randy Dobnik takes the mound to try to get now out of this mess. The there pitch. are two on with only oh, one away. Fantastic. So now to the plate, Carlos Santana hit hard towards center. And that's in there, base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And he is safe at the plate, and the lead is now three to nothing. The left field, number 24, 
Domingo. At the plate, Santana. Domingo Santana. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. Up next for Cleveland, the designated hitter, Oscar Mercado. To the plate now, Oscar Mercado hit to third. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Leading off the inning, Nelson Cruz. And they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The designated hitter. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 2-1 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He'll try it again, three and two. And he misses again, ball four. And his control is really letting him down now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Josh Donaldson. Chopped to third, tough to get two. He's right there. Hernandez at second. On to first, and Donaldson's gone as well. It's a double play. Digging in now, Mitch Garver. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Three and one to him now. And the count will be full. Three-two pitch. And he misses again as the command is definitely letting him down now. It's ball four. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Hit hard down the line. The 2 2 pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Now in the box, Roberto Perez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 1 1 home. Weak grounder down the line at third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jose Ramirez, a hit in two tries for him so far. The 3 1. There's ball four. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. A ball and two strikes now. Now a throw over, but the runner's back easily. Cue shot here out towards short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now at the plate, Francisco Lindor. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 home. Misses, ball two. And 
And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that is off the wall. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Now a 5-0 lead. Tyler Duffy is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Into the box, Fran Reyes. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Nick Whitgren gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 62. Nick. Bottom of the inning now. Ready for another chance? Max Kepler. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. The 3 1. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. The center field One gone field now in the Minnesota seventh. Byron. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. The 2 2. Popped him up. Santana has room in foul territory. He's got it, and there are two down now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Luis Arias. His career numbers against this pitcher. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's 2 and 1 now. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Count even at two and two. Liner towards second. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth. So here's Tyler Naquin. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 1. Is strike two swinging. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Tyler Naquin becomes the first out of the inning. Fouled away. The one two. Is taken for ball two. Good eye to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here. Domingo Santana is on deck. And this one misses to Santana, and he'll take that free pass down to first. Settling in now, Domingo Santana is working on a one for three thus far. The 3 1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Domingo Santana is set packing for the second out of the inning. The 1 1 misses for the second ball. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Polanco into shallow left. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Striding into the box, Jorge Polanco. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Reined in. And there's one down now. Here's Nelson Cruz now. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. 
this offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to. Now here's a fly ball, well hit, racing back the left fielder, and that's a home run into the top tank. Stepping in now, Miguel Sano. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Fouled off. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now that is. The Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Into the box now, Mitch Garver. High in the air out to center field. Nick Wooden's under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Tyler Clipper enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Standing in, Roberto Perez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Just out in front of that one still two and two. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left on the move is Rosario. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. At the plate, now Jose that. Ramirez. One for two in the ball Jose game thus far. Ramirez. Bases are empty, one man out. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Again, another foul ball. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Your Brad Hand enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. The one-two. Full count, three-two. Could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at-bats. Nobody out, runner on first. A two-ball, one-strike count to the Twins' first baseman. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Santana will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here, you would stride to the plate for this trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball. Can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. Stepping in, Luis Arias. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now the one and one pitch. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Indians have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The Cleveland Indians led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Shane Bieber earns the win his second, permitting only one hit in six complete innings. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Twins, one run on three hits. One error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.